Hey friends, this is Carlton Lewis, aka Mellow Melanin, aka Mega Businessman, coming to you live and direct from just outside of Atlanta. There you go, you can see Atlanta in the background. Let me step to the side. You probably can see some of the There we go. See some of the skyscrapers. You can probably see the Mercedes Benz uh, Stadium in the background. But I'm cutting this video. I was watching, I'm, I'm super pumped too. I just want you guys to know that. Super pumped. I was watching a video last night by one of my senior business partners. And his name is Jason Brown. Big shouts out to you, Jason. You've come a long way from the first time we chatted a few years ago. And I'm really proud of this guy. And he talked about four areas where you need consistency. Four areas where you need consistency. And I'm so I was so pumped watching this video, just watching Jason. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and run those four areas down for you guys. And if, for some of you, this may be nothing new. For others, it may be, but it's about consistency. If you're building anything, you got to be consistent, consistent. And the first area he talked about being consistent and was your mental your mentality your mindset and how do you how are you consistent there personal development you know what are you reading what are you putting in your mind what are you doing to make your mind active and he gave some great examples of you know the person that he uses in his house to furnish his pictures and to decorate his house and design his house you know this guy is a 75 year old retired surgeon but he started decorating houses so his brain wouldn't turn into mush all right this here's somebody who's already successful as a surgeon all right, a heart surgeon at that. Um, and he's he still, you know, wants to stay motivated, wants to keep moving. So that was the first area, your mindset. What's your personal development? Are you consistent in your personal development? Every day, for me, I'm either on some wake-up call, I'm in some book, I'm doing a, on some webinar, I'm learning something, an audio book, something on my phone. With these smartphones, there's no reason to not be consistent in your personal development. The second area was uh, spirituality, your spiritual, you know, your spiritual, you know, being in touch, meditation, prayer, uh, getting around other people who are like minded, you know, especially if you're not trying to make this a religious video. However, you definitely need to be around somebody who shares your beliefs, somebody who shares your spiritual beliefs. It'll help you grow in, in consistency, consistency, consistency. You know, it's one of your 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 spiritual powers, you know, to, to, to really to stay to be consistent, stay consistent. It gives you so much. It actually when you stay consistent in your spirituality, it makes all these other areas fall into place. All right. So the third one, the third one he talked about was being consistent in the physical area and. That's like I just just walked up this hill, you know where I am. It's it's you know it's a little hill, it's a little path back there. Uh, this is Shoepaid Park. I've done videos here before, and this is just a, a, a cool little area for me to walk. It's secluded. I can make videos here. I can meditate, pray, whatever I need to do here. And it's a nice view of the city. It's not too hot, not too cold. So physical you definitely want to take care of your physical. That's the exercise part. The inside part. Think about how you're eating. You know, what are you putting in your body? You know, what goes in comes out, you know, so garbage in, garbage out. So you definitely don't want to keep putting garbage in your body. All right. And you definitely want to make sure you're active, moving or moving your body around, you know, so you want atrophy. All right. You don't want your muscles to just fall off. So you want to be consistent, consistent, consistent. The, the fourth area, the fourth area, and this is really key. This is really key, and it, this ties with really your mental, your, your mindset is emotion, the area of emotion. And sometimes people are going to piss you off. You know, we can get temper. Everybody, everybody um, has some things, something that can push their button. All right, somebody or something or somebody that can just absolutely push their buttons. For me, I'll be honest with you guys. I'll give you one example. For me, something that just really pushes my buttons is to see a person texting and driving or scrolling through Facebook or Instagram while they're driving a car. That really burns me up. 
But what I had to learn how to do a, a few weeks ago, I told some of my friends that I would stop getting upset when I saw these people doing that and say some good words, you know, spiritually, quietly to myself about that person. Send them some love instead of sending them this negative energy, because, you know, <laughs> when, when, when you're doing when you're doing negative things or you have a negative energy towards somebody else. It's, it's, it's like what they say about criticism, criticism uh, or gossip. Gossip is like, you know, drinking poison and wanting the other person to die and thinking the other person is going to die. But, but you you're drinking the poison. So you're catching it. So even though I got upset or I would get upset about people testing and driving, they didn't know I was upset, you know. So I'm in there suffering. You know, I'm not taking care of my emotions or, or keep my emotions centered and focused on what I really want to see happen in my own life. All right. So those are the four areas, mental, spiritual, physical, emotional, to be consistent, be consistent, be consistent, not, you know, wishy-washy in your decisions or wishy-washy in your actions. Be consistent. And I'm not saying you got to be consistent in every single thing you know we all have our vices but pick these areas these these four areas i believe it just like jason i saw jason jason said he he, he was 270 pounds at one point and now he's down to 215 and i i know how that feels I, i'm at 270 pounds i want to be at 215 so why wouldn't i take these same steps work in these same areas to get myself down to the level that I want to be at and to, to build my business to the level that I want to see it to live the life that I see in my brain why wouldn't I do that why wouldn't you do that okay hope you got some value out of this video this has been Carlton Lewis aka Mellow Melanin aka Mega Businessman coming to you live and direct with these four areas to be consistent. If you got some value out of this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Make sure you check out www.whoiscarlton.com for more marketing, mindset, and leadership tips. Peace.